Hello, and today I'm going to be opening up the Lord of the Rings Living Card Game Heirs of Numenor expansion. Oh, I just bought this today. I already opened up the player cards because uh, I couldn't hold myself. And we have, of course, the uh, original book. Two hero cards, 48 player cards, 103 encounter cards, and 12 quest cards. I see a new siege mechanic. I believe. Yep, siege. Quest card has the siege keyword. When characters committed to that quest, they count their total defense instead of their total questing when resolving the quest. Hmm. Enemies and locations of the staging area still use their threat in opposition to the quest attempt. We have three quests: Peril and Peliger into Athelion. Oh, maybe just two quests. Just two quests. Level five and level four. Oh, there it is. The siege of Carandros. Sweet. Alright then. I'm going to show you the player cards first. Yeah, fuck it. Like that. Alright then. Alright. First we have. Bergond, Sentinel, he has 4 defense, that is insane. Lower the cost to play weapon and armor attachments on Bergon by 2. 4 defense for a tactics hero, that is just absolutely awesome. We have Boromir. Well, Boromir has at least 1 resource in his resource pool, gun to allies get plus 1 attack. Hmm. He has 3 attack too. 11 threat though, that's, that's disconcerting. Next we have Errand Rider. No questing, no attack, no defense. Console one. Exhaust Errand Rider to move one resource from the resource pool of your hero to control to another hero's resource pool. Yeah, you already have cards for that, especially in the leadership. You have that, uh, what is that card? I don't remember. Whatever. Next we have Sedato Custodian. Lower the cost to play Sedato Custodian by one for each Gundor ally in play. So basically, he could be free. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Next, we have Mithril Accord. Mutual Accord, sorry. Until the end of the phase, each Gundor card in play gains a Rohan trait, and each Rohan card in play gains a Gundor trait. Will that be useful? I don't know. Next, we have Wealth of Gundor. Choose a Gundor hero, add one resource to that hero's resource pool. Hmm, the artwork looks really cool. It's a free, three free resources right there for a Gundor person. Next we have Defender of Ra Ramus. Four defense for an ally? Are you serious? <laughs> wow. That's legit, dude. Next we have Behind Strong Walls. Ready defending Gundor character. That character gets plus one defense until the end of the phase. Sweet, so you can quest and then use him to defend and he gets plus one. Sweet, that's not bad. Next we have the Spear of the Citadel. Attached to a tactics character. Restricted, limit one per character. After attached character is declared as a defender, deal one damage to the attacking enemy. That sounds like a good card, especially with Baragond having four defense, you block with him, the enemy still takes the damage no matter what. Next we have Damrod. Discard Damrod from, from play to lower your threat by one for each enemy in the staging area. Yeah. Okay. Next we have uh, Light the Beacons. Ooh, Light the Beacons. All characters get plus two defense and do not exhaust the defend until the end of the round. Yeah, that is real. Expensive as hell. Real. Next we have a watchful place. A watchful piece. Right? Yeah. After a location leaves play as an explored location, return to the top of the encounter deck. That could definitely prove useful. Now we have Blood of Numenor. 
attached to a Gundor or a Jinnan hero. Spend one resource from attached heroes resource pool to give attached hero plus one defense for for each resource in its resource pool until the end of the phase. Hmm. Doesn't seem too bad either. Next we have Hunter of Lamadon. After you play Hunter of Lamadon from your hand, reveal the top card of the deck. If it is Outland's card, add it to your hand, otherwise discard it. I don't think I would want to use that card. Athelion Tracker. Exhaust. Okay. 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 Can't read it. Exhaust Athelion Tracker to lower the threat of the next enemy added to the staging area to zero until the end of the phase. That sounds like a good card. Although it has no questing. Master of Lore. Exhaust Master of Lore to name a card type. Lower the cost for you to play lore cards of that type by one until the end of the phase to a minimum of one. That seems like a good card to me. Next we have Ranger Spikes. Play Ranger Spikes into the staging area unattached. If unattached, attach Ranger Spikes to the next eligible enemy that enters the staging area. Players do not make engagement checks against that against attached enemy. Attached enemy gets minus two threat. That is an insanely good card. I can't wait to use it. Envoy of Pelagir. Pelagir. After Envoy of Pelagir enters play, add one resource to Gundor and Noble Heroes resource pool. So, I guess you get you spend one, you get one back. So, I mean, you only technically spend one. Because she only costs two and you get one back. That's it for the player cards. For we have an objective. Alcoran scroll. If I attach, return Alcoran scroll to the staging area and it gains. Exhaust a hero to attach Alcoran scroll to that hero. When the hero with Alcoran scroll attached is damaged by an enemy attack, attach Alcoran scroll to that enemy. Damn. Sounds mean. Alright, then we have the Harbor Thug. When the player whose heroes has Alcron scrolled attached raises his threat, Harbor Thug engages the player. Oh, damn. And he has three attack. And open up the next pack. God damn it. Hold on, I'm having some tefl technical difficulties over here. There we go. Now we have the leading fish. If Alcron scroll is attached to a hero, the leaping fish gains forced at the beginning of the quest phase, discard X cards from the top of the encounter deck where X is the number of players in the game. Add each enemy discarded by this effect to the staging area. Oof. Okay then. Wow. Next we have Pelagrir Dox. While Pelagrir Dox is the active location, enemy is plus one attack and pl plus one defense. These things are just not nice. Harbor Storehouse, I think. Each time a location is discarded, the top of the encounter deck raise each player, start by one. Yeah, the storehouse. Sweet. Next we have. Collateral damage. Discard two cards from the top of the encounter deck. Discard additional two cards for each copy of collateral damage in the discard pile. Then raise each player step by two for each location discarded by this effect. Oh, oh sweet. Allies. Celador. While Celador is in the staging area, he is committed to the current quest. After player's quest unsuccessfully or a character leaves play, deal one damage to Celador. If Celador leaves play, remove him from the game. Damn. And we have the Athelian Guardian. While Athelian Guardian is in the staging area, he is committed to the current quest. Add Athelian Guardian to the staging area, and Athelian Guardian gains Surge. Hmm. Another Athelian Guardian. Oh no, it's the same thing. I'm an idiot. Next, we have Southron Company. Southron Company gets plus two threat and plus two attack. While the current quest card has the battle or siege keyword. Oof. 
34 threat though, I don't ever really get the 34 threat. Athelian Road, while Athelian Road is the actual location, the engagement cost of each enemy in the staging area is zero. I then. Surge. Oh, sorry, I didn't read that. Blocking wargs. Ooh. Deal one damage each character commits at the quest. At the current quest, <clears throat> has the battle or siege keyword, shuffle this card back into the counter deck. Oh, right then. He does some shit. And next we have the Orc Scrambler Surge. Deal one damage each battleground location. If able, I guess you can. The battlegrounds have hit points now. I don't know. Next we have the Battering Ram. <laughs> Doom 2. That's 7 attack. Wow. That location is a battleground. Deal 3 damage to it. Poosh. Shit. I don't even know what that means. Next we have the Siege Raft. When revealed, deal 2 damage to the lowest battleground location at play. Right there. The Citadel. If the Citadel has 11 or more damage, remove it from the game. Okay, do not collect its victory points. If the Citadel leaves play as an explored location, remove stage 4 from the quest deck, Fable. Alright then. The Approach. If the Approach has 7 or more damage, remove it from the game. Do not collect its victory points. After the Approach leaves play as an explored location, remove stage 3 from the quest deck, if able. Let's see what this is. The Banks. Come on. The Banks. If the Banks has three more damage, remove it from the game. Do not collect its history points. Yeah. Okay. Next we have when revealed, each character gets minus two attack and minus two defense until the end of the round. That's Orc Assault. We have Pickpocket. Forced. When pickpocket attacks, the defending player discards one resource from one of his heroes' resource pools and one card at random from his hand. That sucks. Next we have City Street. Surge. When City Street is in the staging area, players cannot travel to a location that does not have the title City Street. Okay. Next we have Market Square. Immune to player card effects. That sucks. Each player must spend one resource from one of his heroes' resource pools to travel here. Damn. Next we have Lost in the City. Each player must search the encounter deck and discard pile for one city location added to the staging area. If able, shuffle the encounter deck. This effect cannot be cancelled. Next we have Local Troll. When you're able to attach this card to the hero with the highest threat cost without a copy of Local Trouble attached, it counts as a condition attachment with the text. When attached hero exhausts, readies, or triggers an ability race, control the threat by one. Damn. Then we have Zealous, Zealous Trader, Trader, Zealous Trader. When Zealous Trader engages a player, that the enemy must deal one damage to each ally controls. Damn, two damage instead of Zealous Trader was not optionally engaged. Lost Mark Bandit. When Lost Mark Bandit engages a player, that player discards one resource from each of his hero's resource pools. Two resources instead of Log Mark Bandit was not optionally engaged. Umbar Assassin. Archery 2. When Umbar Assassin engages a player, that player must deal 3 damage to a hero he controls. Discard that hero instead if Umbar Assassin was not optionally engaged. I'm tired of that optionally engaged shit. What's the last card? Lurking in the Shadows. When revealed, return all brigand enemies engaged with player to the staging area if this effect returned no brigand enemies to the staging area. Lurking in Shadows gain surge. I'm going to have to put this into two parts, so uh, stay tuned for part two.